Hey everyone, thanks very much for joining me on today's video. We're going to be looking at uh, what's happening in the precious metals market, in particular silver today, because we've had a silver breakout. As I posted the video yesterday, I pointed to this particular region here and I said more than likely it looks like a possible silver breakout, and it's exactly what we've seen here. So we're going to be looking at that. First of all, I just want to thank you guys for watching the videos. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the like button, also comment down below. Um, I've also got uh, four, four articles I'm going to be taking a look at. And of course, there's just been major activity on the crypto market. So we're going to be taking a look at that as well. Uh, right. So we're going to get started. Hope you guys are having a great day out there. Thanks for joining me. Let's see, we've got Silver Junkie. <laughs> he was asked, yeah, Silver Junkie was asking me to try and be on a bit earlier. I think it was around two o'clock. He uh, posted a comment on one of my videos. But um, here we go. I made it. Um, a little bit, little bit later today. But um, better late than never, I suppose. All right, this is silver on the daily. So I posted yesterday's video, and we're looking at that. We're also going to take a look at platinum. Um, I, it looked like there was going to be a possible breakout for platinum as well, uh, coming in the near, probably in the next few weeks. So we're going to take a look at that as well. Um, the big news of the day, really, is silver is up uh, quite a bit. Today's uh, silver price is almost up. It's up 24 cents. Uh, to 1562 initially when i checked this morning uh, we were around the 15 1535 level um i thought perhaps we'd probably reach the 1540 level somewhere around there and we're currently at 1562 which is fantastic um it went as high as 1569 can you believe that that's absolutely fantastic um so we're going to be taking a look at that silver junkie says uh, dude this morning when it jumped i was like hell yeah <laughs> you know it's interesting um you know it's, it's about it's about time silver started seeing some action and um you know i put my uh put my my sort of wedge in here just keep an eye on it. it was tracking up and i could see movement was moving up here and i was like hmm, this looks like potential breakout and then yesterday we had that, that break above that 1530 resistance level and I was like, this is very, getting very interesting. And then it popped. So it's fantastic. Um, right. says <laughs> Silver Junkie. Cool. There you go. So expect to pay more for your silver today. It's going to be a good 25 cents more. Um, we're going to have a look at some articles now. Let's see what gold. Gold's been relatively flat today. Inter interesting enough. Sorry. That is the, the gold to silver ratio, which we're going to take a look at. Now, the gold to silver ratio is down finally. So we're going to take a look um, at where that's going. But that is the wedge for gold currently not much activity there on the daily um funny enough out of out of the last seven days silver's only had one red day uh, versus gold's four red days so interesting enough i wonder if we've turned a corner finally for silver but um you think we'll see 16 dollars tomorrow i well, see it, it it all depends on the resistance levels that we're going to see here um we're going to take a good look now we've broken these two resistance levels all the way up here but now we could find ourselves in this area here. It's going to be our next resistance levels. It's breaking these levels here. There's a fair amount of support there to a degree. But, you know, if you have a look here, we've, what's that, the 1578, 1580. Um, 1568 is probably, is probably a strong resistance level. Just looking at down here. We break through the 1570. It's not going to be an easy ride here, but we really need to break through these resistance levels uh, and to get free. And then we're pretty much home free for $16 silver. Anything's possible at this stage, but it just depends on on, on the buyers. Look at that. We are up 1.5% today. Silver is up 1.5%. So if we look at gold again, let's take another look and see. Let's look at gold. Okay, so gold is currently... Minus a point uh, zero, sorry, minus zero point four percent down, and that's five dollars down. So uh, not much activity happening there on gold. I've got an article which we're going to look at that as well, um, and that is. So we're going to keep an eye on that now while you guys are with me. Let's see, we got up seven in the chat currently. We got Essa uh, uh, Essa How you doing there? We got Chef here as well. Lost for words. I'm sure you're lost for words currently. Um, <laughs> let's go for sure. Yeah, that was a uh, silver junkie showing us some rockets there. That's it's time to hit high. <laughs> it's the highest it's been since February, so um, it's a it's a good move in the right direction as far as I'm concerned. Probably Nash to say, hey, Limey, just catching your live stream before bed, up 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 early. Wow, okay, cool, man. 
Um, Essex Lex saying, how does it work? I'm not sure, but we'll go through it shortly. Right, let's look at the silver ratio, the gold and silver ratio. Right, so the gold is currently priced at fourteen hundred, sorry, fourteen hundred eight dollars an ounce, uh, and then we've got silver priced at fifteen dollars and sixty two cents. Wow, that's great. Uh, the gold and silver, look at that, the gold and silver ratio. We might well see it drop below ninety. I think that'll be great. It takes us back to uh, the twenty first of June, not that long ago, really, when it was at this level. We're currently below our 50 moving average, um, which is great. So there is a massive pullback, and that's mainly due to the strength in silver for today. Um, it certainly would be great to see it continue down, uh, really close that gap, and get it down to this level here, about 80 to 1. You can start with that. That was back in January. Right, so this is it. Gold opens the week sideways as China reports a good uh, GDP. This was posted yesterday. So gold's trading flat on the first day of the week. Investors are digesting China data, mixed equ equities in the USA, um, and a flat dollar index. According to the FXTM analyst Lupin or Tanuga, and the lack of uh, the stamina in gold is due to the China's GDP still, still above 6%. 6% is a fantastic level for GDP. Um, it says markets expect gold prices to push higher, given that China, China's growth was the slowest in almost 30 years. However, if you look at the bigger picture, it's still above 6%. Also, GDP was in line, that's gross domestic product, uh, basically they're in regards to their manufacturing. Uh, plus, other economic data was positive for the Asian country. Uh, dollar index is also undecided, leaving gold trading in a small range, which is exactly what we're seeing at the minute. Um, was a dollar sorry gold gold usd is currently moving in a small range between 1410 and 1420 um the unit is 0 0.08 percent negative so the downside of the unit is supported by a 20-day moving average around 1400 below that is 1390 to so the downside i uh, mentioned the 1420 is um, a level containing the unit above 1430 and 1440 1440 is the big resistance level for gold currently so we need to break through that 1420 first china shows trade war is, is is a toll but it maintains the rhythm it says in the second quarter of 2019 china's yearly gdp growth 6.2 percent a number in line with expectations hey let's have yeah, we got world stock here gram stack here. fantastic good good to see you guys thanks very much fantastic news today for silver so um we're going to have a look at the at the good uh at the good the bad and the ugly <laughs> right um right let's have a look don't forget to hit the like button there uh everybody silver giveaways here come on 200 uh and eight and a half thousand Okay, that must be, I presume he's probably looking in regards to Bitcoin. Uh, there's probably no need to extract that, but if you, you're you probably just rewording it. We'll talk, uh, not silver I'm worried about, Graham Stacker out in the country. Let's have a look. We've got R&B. Uh, sorry, RB, how are you doing? Uh, Wolf Stacker, maybe 1650. Probably nationalist. Uh, in your opinion, what do you think gold will reach by the end of the year? Any thoughts? Um, I posted there, I think, uh, what was it? I put about 1550. Uh, that was my indication in regards to where I thought gold was going to be based on uh, the sort of news currently out. But um, we should start to see gold moving probably over the next couple of weeks. Um, that's uh, that is why you see more silver vids on YouTube. <laughs> silver Jungle said, I've got a question that I can't seem to find or I'm not looking in the right places how many silver contracts are there i don't really follow silver silver contracts unfortunately um silver junkie that's a different department i look more at physical and the actual exchange priced um uh, heard lots of words no shit coin for me silver stealer hey everyone i smashed the like button on the way in fantastic um silver giveaways come on seven two to eight five bitcoin i couldn't agree with you more to be honest I've taken my money out of Bitcoin. Currently, I'm waiting for lower prices. Um, there's just too much downward momentum. There's very bearish momentum currently in crypto. Um, so I've taken my money out. I've made. I've, 
I'll take my profit out as well. So I'm just sitting and waiting on the sidelines, waiting for lower prices. Right, uh, it's at the end of my goal winner uh, video. Gonna do more filming uh, on this later. Cool, okay, grab, grab Stacker there. Tom McStacker, how are you doing, my friend? We got 13, right, let's carry on here. Quarter to quarter, however, Chinese GDP advanced 1.6%, gross domestic product in the second quarter, above expectations. Uh, industrial production rose 6.3, well above the 5.2 expectations. Retail sales also posted a good number with a 9.8% increase, uh, well above the 8.3. China reported its lowest annual GDP growth in 27 years. Well, but it's also that number was widely ex uh, expected. On the other hand, quarter on quarter data rose more than expected and the, re the economic data showed a healthy economy. So markets are undecided which way to take as China is apparently having a toll on the trade ball, but numbers are okay. And that's probably the reason why gold looks like this. Not really much movement, but it is closing in. Um, so it's going to be interesting to see if we see a break up or a breakdown. Again, this is just currently based in regards to the way I do my charts here. I run off the highs and I run off the lows. So the lows are all connected here. And of course, I run off the highs, which are here. Like so. And then more than likely in between there, you'll get either movement up or movement down. So back to silver. Let's take another look. Silver fifteen still still fifteen sixty one currently priced. Um, so we're going to see how good that goes. So glad I bought a bunch of silver last month. Get rid of the FOMO at least for a bit. And I had uh, I had planned on on pausing. I'm an addict. <laughs> well, I tell you what, you've uh, you saved uh, well, you've benefited from some money there. Um, it's too early, Graham. Uh, NGC's uh, hasn't finished any. Okay, he's obviously in regards to some coins. Smart choices, lost, lost for words. Me too. Oh, wow. Awesome. Silver giveaways. Took some profit, man. Good stuff. Uh, we're going to check the crypto market out in a sec. So let's take a look at platinum. Now, I said to you, I was seeing a look, look like a possible breakout. It still can be. Um, this was up to here when I checked this, this morning, green. Um, so it was approaching that. That's, that's our wedge here. So it certainly looked like it was heading up that way, but now we've got some selling action today. So could be postponed for a little, maybe a little bit longer. We'll have to wait and see what uh, the next candle, tomorrow's candle is going to be. If it's going up, if it's getting close to this line, we could see an imminent breakout of platinum. So we'll have to keep an eye. Again, we've got uh, the lows all marked and the high marked as well. So that's our channel we're going to be trading in. So more than likely, you're going to see this sort of action. So we, more, we will more than likely see a higher platinum price. Uh, based on this action but again um it could also break down but there's just too much news out there currently for precious metals for it to see any sort of breakdown uh, we might see more than likely sideways action however i'm sure i'm sure uh, based on the news out there it's just too positive in regards to precious metals that it's going to pop up so i'll have to wait and see there and let's look at palladium palladium again it's just um, another sell-off day so it's pulling back We're getting closer to the 1500 level we're back to the 200 uh, the 20 day moving average uh, we're just under that 1517 dollars an ounce considering we were as high as 1600 a few days back uh, it's about five days back so it is um it's taken a hit today 45 dollars down uh, platinum currently priced at 840 so it's still higher from where it uh, from where we were down here last time we were looking about what well, the a15 the a20 level so it definitely is higher it's down to $840.50 an ounce, uh, down about $2.70. Um, we've been through gold. We're going to check out crypto in a second. We're going to take a good look. Right, okay, so silver. Right, let's have a look at some of the news here. Right, this is markets, markets yawn. Uh, hit snooze button ahead of U.S. earnings reports. However, not with silver today. Dollar creeps higher before U.S. retail sales. The greenback is having a hard time nursing deep wounds inflicted by the Fed rate cut bets. And this continues to be reflected in the dollar index, which is trading around 97. More, can, more pain could be in store for the bruised dollar this afternoon if U.S. Uh, retail sales prints um, below market expectations. Economists are forecasting a tepid 
0.1% expansion in sales for the U.S. economy last year. Uh, given how consumption contributes to around 70% of the U.S. GDP, gross domestic product, a disappointing figure will not only fuel uh, concerns over the U.S. economy, but strengthen the case for the U.S. interest rate cut this month. Now, the interest rate, I think the Fed are only meeting on the 30th to the 31st, so we're going to have to wait and see. We've still got a few weeks away, but hopefully that momentum is going to keep building. The price is going to keep slowly going up. Um, so we're going to have to keep an eye on that one. Um, ultimately pushing the, uh, the uh, was strength of the case for interest rates, ultimately pushing the dollar, uh, punishing the dollar. Sorry, beg your pardon. With the fundamental uh, ingredients initially sweetening appetite for the, for the dollar expired, weaknesses could be a major theme during the second half of 2019. All right, just a quick look at silver again, guys. This is one thing I just want to point out. I've said this numerous times. Silver's percentages, and I've said this even on live chats, the percentages gains on silver could outdo gold. And today's a, a typical example of that. So what we have is, and uh, you know, again, I just want to, because of the price of silver, um, you, it's it's able to increase more based on uh, price. So what you might see, in, well, like we're going to see today, we're 1.6 percent up, or yeah, 1.6 percent up. And if we look at gold, uh, I'll keep pressing the wrong one there. If you look at gold, gold's down 0 0.4, right? So that means that gold outdid, outperformed, sorry, silver outperformed gold today by about five times that amount. Uh, let's say even if you were going to use four, uh, four times that, um, that, that amount, it outperformed gold today. So, you know, it is credible to say that silver can outperform gold. Yes, obviously from a pricing perspective, um, it's, I wouldn't say never going to get there, but the, the pricing from a US dollar perspective is just massive. You know, you've got $1,400 versus $15. So I, I fully understand. That. I'm not saying it's going to go up to $1,500 an ounce or $1,000 an ounce or $500 an ounce. But what I'm saying is from potential gains from percentages, can silver can outperform gold? And that's, and that, again, this is, this is great to actually see this, that, um, that is, uh, what should we call it? It is applicable. So Graham Stacker says silver's been doing great lately. Uh, Graham Stacker, not bad at all. So milk spots. <laughs> and he says, well, stock is like, what? So how does the pig look, Graham? So, um, silver giveaway says, look at those huge sell-offs in silver. Uh, market move is keeping it low. Uh, not following gold. It's not following gold at the minute. Very interesting. Says there, Tom Max Stacker just saying hello. We got wait, winning image photography. How are you doing? Fantastic. Glad you dropped in. He's uh, silver giveaway says killing it. So it's too early, Graham. Uh, NGC, that's it. So we're up to date there. And Silver Steeler says, I agree, Limey. Um, funny enough, there was, a, there was a panel there with Help Babe, and I think there's a couple of other people, and I stayed there, and I don't think anyone really, either they didn't fully understand what I was saying, um, or they just weren't really sure whether they should comment. But this is a typical example of uh, how silver can outperform gold. And that is today. Yes, it is only 24 cents. But still, in from a percentage margin, there you go. Proofs in the pudding. Uh, right, let's look at the gold silver ratio. It's dropped a bit again now. Okay, look at that. We're 90.09. So as we're talking here, silver's still strengthening, and perhaps maybe gold's weakening a bit, which has helped pushing that down. So there it is, 90.09. Right, let's look at Bitcoin today. Right, there we go. So that's where we are. Bitcoin price is 9650. I should paint an interesting picture there. It's interesting. I really thought that we were on our way back up and then we sort of had this slip. This was the trend line I put in place. And it actually, what was interesting was when we had that, um, was it yesterday, when it popped back up, it literally stuck to this line and i was like wow okay i'll put that trend line in ages ago and then um, it started moving there and then there was a sell it broke through broke down uh, and then again it was just buying and selling it looked like momentum was you know it was getting there because i said at the end of yesterday's video i said i wanted to see a price at 10.8 and um that's the way i saw it moving was 10.8 and we actually got up to that level which i was pretty amazed in i was like yeah here we go because the last time we had that momentum we hit that 10 8 and then it was 11 3 and i said oh yeah well then once we reach the 10 8 level it's going to be 11 3 uh, and we didn't see that so what happened was we had a breakdown which is exactly what's happened here 
we had a low price of Bitcoin down to 9.4 um, currently. Uh, so Bitcoin is currently priced at 9.6. 9.6. Nine thousand six hundred and sixty-nine uh, per token, and that was uh, down from about ten thousand five hundred. There was a huge sell, popped it all the way down here. And it's still going to be like that for a while. So it's interesting. We've sort of hasn't really been able to show like positive strength. It's just kind of slipping its way through here. And that's pretty much what made me decide to sell. I was like, yeah, I think this. You know, hey, look, anything can change, but um, we got some more news on that. We're going to take another look. Ryan, let's have a look. Um, Will's dog said, "Let's go back to 4K, so we can all we we can all get in big." <laughs> uh, Matteo de Forest says, "I bought the, I bought I bought the dip to flip." There we go. I got in at nine five. Good man. Um, Matteo says, "I see sixteen K. That's definitely it's it's coming." Um, I'm going to just take uh, advantage of some of the uh, volatility currently at the minute. Um, thanks for sharing that, uh, Matteo. Um, huge silver sell-off coming. You reckon? Silver giveaways reckons there's a huge silver sell-off coming. Uh, good, Limey. Hope you're well. I'm doing very well. Thank you. Limey is a put is a put to buy an MS. Uh, yeah, that's right. I'm looking at that rooster. Still haven't gone ahead with it um i sold 13k well that's that's good man mateo jeez <laughs> you must have seen that coming uh right so where do we go from here well i'll tell you what i'm not going to speculate at all currently it's just not worth it um so i'll let you guys know tomorrow when i think personally the support levels though small support here What's that about between that uh, was that nine three nine two between nine and nine three somewhere around there there's support next support level if it breaks below that eight seven maybe below that eight thousand strong support at six four that's many based on before we've had this huge rally but it's look it's still in a upward trajectory if we have a look at where we are here it's just there's a lot of action here look at this we green 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 dominating all of a sudden in this action here it's just red red <laughs> so we're gonna see how we get on here let's see health babe is here hey health babe um in other real news xrp is about to hit ten dollars and uh any second now also the earth is flat <laughs> Oh, no, I saw the XRP videos up and I was like, it's down to like 28 cents. And I was just like, come on, guys, really? Like, you know, what could they possibly throw out there news wise in regards to, you know, I mean, I, I guess they're probably just trying to get people to, you know, keep keep holding them, um, I suppose. But um, at 28 cents, good time to buy. Well, right, let's have a look. Uh, what are we looking at here? Bitcoin. Bitcoin plungers. I think I've got another one here somewhere. So we're going to just have a look through. That was, um, how old is this one? Okay, here we go. Bitcoin plungers below 10,000 um, in an abrupt pullback. What are the analysts saying? After a period of consolidation and choppy trading, Bitcoin BTC has failed to garner any noticeable, any notable buying pressure and briefly plummeted below 10,000 before finding some support that has allowed its price to stay afloat above its key psychological price level. Analysts are now noting that it's cr uh, critical that BTC closes above the 10-1 um, on the on the four-hour candle uh, that is that it is just started forming or else the movement could spark a strong, I presume that's route as opposed to bout, uh, route of selling pressure that sends the crypto reeling lower. Bitcoin dips below 10,000 before finding some support. At the time of writing, Bitcoin is trading down 5% at its current price of 10,000. Well, it's less than that now, which is down significantly from its 24 hour high of 11,000. Uh, this isn't the first time in recent history that Bitcoin has briefly dipped uh, back to four digit figure. Obviously, we remember the 9.8. 
began its extended period of a choppy trading that was sparked by its unsustainable move to 13.8. In the near term, this could extend significantly lower and how Bitcoin reacts um, to the region over the next several hours will continue to determining uh, will will continue to determine which direction the crypto will head next. Josh uh, Rieger, a, a popular cryptocurrency analyst on Twitter, spoke about the key levels which he's watching before the next few hours, noting that 10.1 is the first key price level um, that BTC must climb above in the near term. BTC, the bad news and the good news. The bad news, BTC has dumped 10,100 now, and it's likely to close under 10,191 on the four hour. It's likely BTC's uh, well, the forms a lower, a bearish, a good news. Sorry, it's likely that BTC forms a lower low, um, which is bearish. Good news. This happening immediately at the start of the four-hour candle, so we uh, we have a few hours until the close to push back up. He explained. The bad news, BTC. Okay, uh, there we go. Let's just put that back. Analyst, current pullback uh, could go deeper during week ahead, although it's still early to say. Uh, recently established position within the five figures is truly in jeopardy. Another prominent analyst is note, is now noting that a, a fractal pattern could spell trouble for BTC. Uh, Trader XO, another popular crypto analyst on Twitter, spoke about the latest pullback, noting that a fractional pattern um, could signal the BTC will fall significantly further before it once again begins its par parabolic journey upwards. If it's going to go, then it's going to go deep over the next week or so. Previous fractional, uh, fractal uh, mentioned before and um, by several others in the past week. He said that while referencing the below chart, analysts and investors alike will uh, will be closing, will be closely watching to see how Bitcoin reacts to this rapid growing selling pressure over uh, the coming hours. And a sustained drop below 10,000 could spell trouble. For BTC in the near term, S and P's here. Oh, fantastic! Glad you made it, my friend. Let's see, we got Graham Stack. He says, "I wish I could play hooky, uh, hey Barbara. My boss makes me work seven days a week." Hey, Barbara's here as well. Hey, Barbara, how are you doing? Health, babe. Says she'll be right back. Wow, so many great people in here. <laughs> Fantastic. We're up to 18, which is great. Uh, I will just I, I will be just listening today and we'll try to respond when I can. That's help, babe. Um, Silverstein says, don't mind silver going down. I just uh, don't want it to slip uh, sub 14. If you guys don't mind, just uh, trying to use the word sub. Apparently, it's um, something to do with the analytics. Um, YouTube don't like you using the word sub. Um, so if you can just use mention the um, uh, rather use the term below or something. Really appreciate that. Well, Stalker says, in other news today, XRP is about... Okay, yeah, we spoke about that one. Awesome. Right, let's... Yeah, let's see. Where are we? Um, yeah, let's check BTC out currently at the minute. Where are we BTC-wise? 9679. See, this for me, this for me just... Oh, there we go. Oh. oh, we're seeing some green movement here. 97, oh, it's dropping a bit now. 9732. There we go. We can see the buying and selling. Buying at uh, 9733, selling at 9761. Let's check out some others. So let's have a look. Ethereum is the uh, one that's. Um, that tends to follow Bitcoin. So again, we've got it at just over the two hundred dollar mark. Uh, Ethereum at two hundred and two dollars and one cent. Will it break lower? 
it went as low as 190 before it pulled back. 190 for Ethereum. Wow. What a great buy. That's where it's come from. Boom, boom, boom. Um, I haven't formulated any wedge charts or anything yet, so I'm just sort of just letting it ride at the minute. Uh, let's have a look. We got Litecoin as well. Litecoin down. Oh, look at that. It's eighty dollars. Let's have a look at the crypto charts there. What is Litecoin down? Uh, Litecoin is down ten dollars. So again, not really that that heavy. Uh, we're gonna go back to BTC. BTC is down eleven hundred dollars. Close that screen. They've got too many screens open. Nine seven fifty. Wow, geez, we're up to 21. Thanks, guys. Really awesome. Uh, Grab Stacker, not bad. Uh, don't have to buy much food uh, for everyone. That's up. Silverstina says, those silver employees' bannocks must be tough. <laughs> <laughs> Yesterday, I gave myself a paid day off, apparently. Uh, that was World Stalker. Um, I am my own boss, so hopefully I don't get replaced. Stephen Heath is here. Hey, Stephen, how are you doing? It's good to see you. So I'm just catching up on the chat here. I've been uh, talking away. Wish I could play. Oh, there we go. That's as far as we are up on the chat. Well, I didn't say I was only employee, though. Right, so there we go. So we can see the update. So a quick update on silver 1562 for silver that's my trend line there you can see it there this is on the 30 minute The gold silver ratio, 90.048. Okay, so it's still dropping. Are we going to break 90? Definitely going to keep an eye on that. Are we going to break 90? Because that'll be fantastic. It's down 1.775. That's almost 2%. Uh, full stalker says i'm blocked from coinbase because i was constantly refreshing they think i'm using your program <laughs> jeez <laughs> it's a good thing you weren't in uh earlier you were stuck at like 10 5 or something when you when you bought because uh yeah you you'd be seriously down oh it's going up slightly there we got nine seven
Right, so okay, we're going to close that one down. Let's check and see if there's anything. Okay, so we got. Um, okay, we, gold is flat, but silver has sprung to life. So let's have a look at that one. That's posted on. That was posted today. Silver hits the highest since February. Gold is lower this week, but silver is up three percent and has broken the June and March highs. The big picture is some catch up to silver, which is still below the years of uh, sorry high of the years. Meanwhile, gold is already consolidating. Plus five percent above February's highs. Overall, the climb, overall the climb in silver could have room to run as it catches up to gold. Uh, what's underpinning them both is the expectation that a global monetary policy easing cycle is underway, which is what we, uh, which, which, which is what everyone's been uh, talking about. The technicals in silver look good for the test of sixteen dollars twenty-five, and a break above that would highlight the eighteen dollar area. Um, it would take a momental, monumental rally to get back to $50 area from 2011. We're 2.2 times away, uh, unlike gold, which would only need to rally 0 0.35 times. So there it is. It's the highest level since February. And uh, silver is currently up 3% this week. Bitcoin tumbles under 10,000 as U.S. Senate mulls Facebook Libra. They had their hearings today. Um, it was it was live on YouTube. Um, I didn't really actually bother to have a look. <laughs> I wasn't really particularly interested. But um, let's take a look. So Bitcoin is falling like dead weights in the air following the break under 10K. As discussed earlier, the price retreated from the region above 11,000. The increasing selling pressure has overwhelmed the diminishing or uh, the diminishing buying pressure to extend that BTC USD is trading at new July lows. The bleeding is happening, and the ongoing US Senate hearing for Facebook currency Libra and the proposed technology Calibra. Facebook uh, sent David Marcus, who currently oversees the development of the two projects. Marcus has tried to clear concerns regarding privacy, because obviously we all know Facebook tends to sell everyone's um, um, information. But, um, well, at least in regards to uh, that latest uh, stint in regards to Facebook. Um, however, most of the senators um, are yet to be convinced that Facebook, with its bad record, will, uh, with user privacy data, should handle a sensitive project like Libra. Um, so, yeah, they've got currently they've got privacy issues, as everyone knows. Um, so it'd be interesting to see what happens here. So meanwhile, Bitcoin is trading at 9612 after recording double digit losses. Nine and a half thousand is, is short term support. However, the bear pressure remains at its highest levels on the day. BTC on the 50 minute chart. There we go. There's another one. Calibra's wallet to protect users against fraud. Facebook, David Marcus at the U.S. Senate hearings. Facebook executive um, in charge of Calibra and the proposed Libra cryptocurrency is currently attending a hearing at the United States. Um, the United States hearing to answer questions um, regarding the scope and expectations surrounding the crypto. Marcus has already told the Senate that the United States needs to be at the forefront of Libra regulation. According to Marcus, Calibra Wallet will put measures in place to offer consumer protection against fraud. To set up a Libra account, consumers uh, will have to provide a government identification document. There will be other uh, authentication programs and email programs to ensure authenticity of its users. Facebook is also working with regulators to include FinCEN to ensure that Libra is within the laws of, ju of the juris jurisdiction in which it will operate. Right, there we go. So let's go back and let's go check out. Okay, so market cap down to 261 billion. Current 24 hour volume is less than yesterday. So um, 73.9 billion. Uh, Bitcoin dominance still maintaining at 66.5. Uh, let's have a look. We've got XRP down to 29.7. Um, again, the volumes are about the same, though. 
um, down to 6.14 percent ethereum uh, down to 202 dollars um, they're 24 hour volume eight and a half billion dollars uh, down 12 percent uh, bitcoin um bitcoin volume 23 and a half billion and that's the 9766 Uh, Litecoin there, uh, down to $80, uh, down 12.43%. Wow, jeez. Heavy day. Uh, Robin Nash says, Limey, no donkeys or birds this evening. Yeah, it's very, very quiet today. <laughs> what is Stephen Heath saying there? Will Thugger says, yeah, at least I sold first. <laughs> I am back. There we go. That's coin collector. I hate Libra. Well, don't we all? <laughs> that's something I don't like. And oh, there we go. Actually, Will Thugger is asking the question, why? Speaking of my boss, um, time to fix some breakfast before I leave. I'll take you all uh, with me for scrambled egg time. <laughs> awesome. Silver Stealer. <laughs> Gram stack employees are spendy. Uh, been there, done that. No, thank you. Uh, we'll still, yeah, okay, he's talking about it's being blocked on Coinbase. Cool, we're still maintaining 17. So let's check in and let's see where Platinum is. Buyers are coming back. Only slightly. Platinum, $840.70. Palladium, $1520. Down 42. Silver, $1563. Fifteen dollars and sixty three cents. Gold fourteen hundred and seven dollars down seven dollars and twenty. Gold silver ratio. There it is. Just broke. Just broke ninety. Eighty nine point nine four. Everyone. That's the the most significant drop that we've seen in silver, uh, in the silver to gold ratio uh, since about back here. So that was December 18. Um, it fell from 86 to 81. You can see it there, silver strengthen. And that's what we're seeing today. So 89.94, we broke that 90 um, ratio. Now, Congress says, bad day for crypto, but great for silver. Oh, crypto's going down. Oh, dear me. <laughs> <laughs> Stephen Heath, uh, I'm waiting for it to go down, man. Uh, but the I want I want to see lower prices. Things with the old coins, uh, are we going to see any any more lower than this? I mean, what? Are we, I mean, a lot of everyone everyone back here was like, yeah, that's probably where we're probably going to see it. Like, boom, like straight back down again, and then went up to about two thirty five, uh, thereabouts. And then it just and then just fizzled out. Um, there's got to be a bottom for Ethereum at some point. Ethereum bleeds below as frowns at Facebook. Let's bring that up. I'm gonna take a look at that one. There's a new article here. Let's take a look at that one. Perth Mint is starting a crypto backed by their own bullion. Wow, that sounds interesting. World Stalker. So here we go. Ethereum bleeds below $200 as U.S. Senate frowns at Facebook Libra. The crypto market is bleeding as Facebook Libra may face legal issues. Ethereum, which is the number two crypto, is under strong selling pressure now below the $200 mark. Um, well, there we go. Um, so Bitcoin drops below that. It says Ethereum USD daily chart. July sell-offs uh, keeps going. Uh, below the $200 mark and the 50 to 100 SMA, uh, simple moving averages. Cryptocurrencies are dropping back on the potential legal and privacy issues with Facebook Libra. The market is seen as weak below 220 resistance. In, in regards to this whole Facebook thing, even before we heard about it, Bitcoin was on its up. And it just seems to be that the media just run is just running with this. Um, in regards to yes, it's probably having a negative impact now because it, you know they're in front of the Senate committee uh, talking about it. So now all of a sudden, crypt crypto is in the spotlight like big time, like in the headlights. So for me, it's just convenient for them that uh, Bitcoin is where it is now, uh, based on 
um, Facebook, um, Facebook's Libra um, uh, discussions with the uh, the Senate committee. However, they just seem to be going on and on about it. Um, let's have a look here. We've got okay, we've got some more charts. The four hourly, the market is seen as weak below the two twenty resistance and its main simple moving averages. Level to beat uh, the bears is one eighty currently by one twenty on the way down. The level to beat for bears is one eighty followed by one twenty on the way down. Wow. Additional key levels. Today's last price, 198, down 29.55 levels. There you go. There are the levels there. Down to 180, 189, 176. Hmm. It's Ethereum now, 199. Still holding. Palladium. Okay, Palladium's 15.19. There we go. Right. Uh, BTC 9681. Cramstein says, Where did you read that? Sorry. Um, you'll have to say that again if you don't mind. Uh, Graham Stacker, which one are you talking about? There's another one here. We're going to take a look at that now. Jamie Coin Hunter says, Hello to everybody. Stephen Heath, Facebook, Google, Twitter are being sued in Australia for 500 billion dollars for banning crypto ads wow okay jeepers <laughs> didn't even think um, i haven't even seen any crypto ads uh will sort of australia has the world's worst internet so maybe those ads are still loading <laughs> <laughs> there we go red uh the uh 10 minutes for this candle it's currently the red there 9650 um is currently the price for bitcoin i'm going to take a look at this one now Right, this says cryptocurrency market update. Bitcoin plunges below nine and a half thousand. Ethereum in ripple bleed. That's 14 minutes ago. Uh, Bitcoin tanks. Uh, that word when they say tanks. Uh, Bitcoin tanks massively on the day. Facebook appears in front of the US Senate committee. Um, Ethereum failed to find support at 200, extending losses to 190. New July low. Um, bear pressure has sent XRP back. Um, Below 30, which is very disappointing, hitting lows of 28 cent. Which is we basically reversed all those gains that we had now. Uh, we, the XRP went as high as 50 cent uh, when we had that initial rally, and since then it just hasn't been able to keep its levels like 50 cent down, down to 45, down to 42, down to 40, down to 39, down to 36, down to 33, down to 30, down to 28. Uh, Bitcoin is leading the rest of the market in fresh declines that have struck the crypto market in the evening session on Tuesday. The crypto carnage comes after Bitcoin recovered from a slide under 10,000 where it was found support at 9.8. Um, hit highs above 11,000 before starting to trim the accrued gains. Bitcoin is currently trading at 9.613 following a 11.5% loss on the day. The bearish wave was not unique to Bitcoin, only uh, as Ethereum and Ripple have fallen victims to the selling pressure as well. Uh, Ethereum market failed to find support at $200. So I'm just going to see if... Um... <laughs> Will Stalker. <laughs> Will Stalker there, $100 any minute now. <laughs> uh... Crypto reminds me of uh, people that live in trailer parks. Everyone thinks their junk, uh, their junk is gold. <laughs> That's silver junkie. <laughs> um, coin Collector says uh, a link uh, for my new coin uh, Discord server. Okay, brilliant. Well, definitely must check that out. Um, everyone's just Coin Collector's put a link there. If anyone is interested, definitely check that out. Stacks and stuff. Hey, stacks and stuff. How you doing? It's good to see you. <laughs> Barbara Carbo. Ah. Well, suck up a silver. Sorry for your Ethereum again, Limey. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> um, right. So here we go. We're going to watch the next candle here. We've got seven minutes. Again, it's just not enough volume here. Like generally when it was, it went down, it went shot back up again and then we retested that 13 level the last time but we just haven't even made it that far 
I mean, if we go into the hourly here, oh, not the one day, sorry. Yeah, we had this movement up here and we were like, cool, we're back up to 11. Versus um, when we had that last run, which was here. And that was up to the 13. So that recovered nicely versus this, this jump here. And then we've just fallen down and we just haven't been able to regain the initiative. And it's just straight away, bearish trend line. I've put it straight in there. And that was the line that actually came back up, which was interesting enough. I was like, wow, okay, it's back on that trend line. And then it crashed again. Uh, Ripple on the uh, is currently trading 6.8% lower on the day after correcting from an intraday high at around 31.9. Uh, the bear pressure has sent XRP back under 30, hitting lows of 28 cent. Meanwhile, there has been slight correction upwards. The current market at 29.24, <laughs> not by much, unfortunately. Uh, I'll close that one down. It's just oodles of stuff here. Okay, yeah, we've already gone through that one. Uh, let's check on the gold silver ratio 89.96 currently okay there's no news out currently at the minute silver currently 1560 Okay, they're all pretty much doing the same thing. Check this out, guys. That's Litecoin. That's Ethereum. And that's BDZ. Just for a laugh, let's check out XRP. It's probably got the same sort of um, the same sort of um, line. So let's check that out. XRP. Oh, we're up to 22. Thank you very much, guys. Don't forget to hit the like button. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. What's up, Stax? Uh, Sucker for Silver says, I, I was almost in tether, so I made a good amount of BTC with this fall. Uh, awesome there, Sucker for Silver. Congrats, buddy. Why do you buy tether, Sucker for Silver? Bitcoin is consolidating at 9.5. Get ready. Get ready to plunge. LTC is bouncing down. BCC will follow and take Ether with it. <laughs> Silver giveaways. Yeah, look, uh, Ether follows Bitcoin systematically. So, you know, if Bitcoin's down, it's down. If Bitcoin's up, it's up. Um, never get, uh, never got the notification until just now. That's a sucker for Silver. But hop. Crypto's heading south for the summer. I don't mind. It can, it, it can definitely head south south of us. I'll just buy some more. Okay, that's XRP. Yep, same format. Look at that. Almost exactly the same in regards to. That's right. There we go. Look at that. Okay, so that's XRP. That's BTC. That's LTC, which is Litecoin, and that's Ethereum. That's more like Bitcoin though, with that little green uh, tip. Okay, so Ethereum currently at two hundred. Right, let's get back in with silver. We'll go and take a look. So silver, 1559. Seems to be retreating back a little. Maybe some some profits, but again, nothing to worry about. Gold down a mid better than expected US retail sales. Let's check that out. So yeah, we've already checked out that one. All right, let's have a look. Um... I was tetherball champ three <laughs> recesses in a row in fifth grade. 
Uh, silver giveaways. LCC usually moves before BTC. If it drops, sell the farm and get ready to buy cheap BTC. That sounds great. What's for dinner tonight, Limey? I'm having a pasta salad. Um, not really sure at the moment there. Elf babe. Let's just saying hello there to Barbara. Dealing with idiocy at this moment. I presume that's work. It's obviously not my channel. Elf babe. <laughs> Uh, Silver Junkie, I am I the only one that thinks crypto is another way for a, a ditch to suck the wealth out of the middle class? More than likely. <laughs> uh, there we go. So it says I go into Tether because they don't offer trading directly into into the US dollar. So, so it obviously depends on the exchange that you're on, is it? Uh, Sucker for silver. So the exchange I use, I can convert directly straight into USD or, or Euro. Will Stalker says, I'm leaving Thailand next week. Want a postcard from home before I leave? <laughs> Love to see that silver pump. I know. Well, what we can do is, tell you what, let's go into the... Let's go into the 30-minute. There we go, and that's the selling that we're seeing currently at the minute. Interesting, we started the morning off. Here, look at that. We're basically in the red initially, and then it went green. A bit of red, green, green, and then pow. And here we go. So we got still, we still got some selling to get through here. 15, still holding the 15.60 level. $15.60. Oh, babe. Listening to your uh, your live stream helps me de-stress. <laughs> That's great. Oh, babe. <laughs> Sucker for silver says, crazy day at work there. Oh, babe. Robbie Nash, this, when I'm 50 in four years, I hope I can cash out my, on, on cash out on my silver. Well, that's nice. Obviously, um, I presume it depends on what you uh, what you pay for it there, Robbie. Um, I know it's in four years' time, but um, hopefully, hopefully, um, you're in you're in nice profit there. Uh, Wolf Talk says, um, "Elf babe," but I haven't. It's obviously in regards to some coin, I presume. Probably, uh, it's no investments. There you go. <laughs> Cognit says, fifty dollars silver imminent." Maybe. Sucker for silver, yes. Never never be fun dealing with multiple idiots at the same time. Or maybe not. <laughs> it says coin collector. <laughs> right, let's have a look. Um, again, not much not much movement there. Nine six uh, it's currently nine six nine one. So what's interesting everyone's probably just sitting on the on the sidelines like we like we are right now just watching the price to see it go lower All right 28 minutes into the it's the candle there was some movement up but it's come back down again Low there of 96.35. Cool. Okay. Keep watching this. Is there anything else you want me to check currently? Um, I can pull up some stuff. Hope Silver will stay at the current levels for a couple of weeks. Um, we'll have more hope. Yeah, well, um, effectively, you want it to pump, 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 if I'm not mistaken. Hopefully, we can uh, maintain a higher level. Hopefully, get close to the eight for the 15, 15.80 level. That's, that, that's what I'd like to see. Take a look at Litecoin. Okay, let's have a look. LTC. Down to $79. It's down $11.59, roughly 12% of its value. Oh, there's a new one here. There's a new... Uh, let's, just, let's see where support is, actually. So I'm going to bring up the support for Litecoin. Damn, that's a heavy drop. Right, let's have a look here. 
Do we see support at this level? I see selling at this level here. Two big candles there, 77 and 78. <laughs> Maybe. Hope it says pump pump silver. Come on, guys. <laughs> Bigfoot silver hide and seeker. Good to see you. How are you doing, buddy? There we go. Will Stogger says, Hi, Bigfoot. Your name is way too long to spell out, dude. <laughs> let's have a look. Um, let's, let, let's have a look through and see where support is currently for Litecoin. Well, I definitely don't see any support down below this level here until we get to support level here $59. That seems to be about that. That's about the strongest level $60. $18 away from that, that'd be a good buy. Be interesting to see uh, the amount of videos that are going to be coming out over the next couple of days to see what the crypto um, FUD's going to say. <laughs> you just love some of these YouTube channels, the, the, the pro crypto guys. Um, it'd be great to see what videos are going to be out tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, it's tricky to say, really. It's not in a great area. Yes, there's some buying here. We've got three fairly good buying candles, maybe four. Possibly $79, $80 could be support there for Litecoin at this level. But it's $78, $69. It's going to, it'll be interesting to see. If we drop lower, then we're heading for 60 66 maybe. Ouch. 72 uh, Let's have a look. Um, Clinton S. Hey, Clinton, how are you doing, buddy? Maybe Aussie, Aussie Alchemist is here. How's Silver doing today? Silver's doing fantastically today, buddy. Uh, I'm going to bring up the chart again here for the Silver chart. So all it's been about Silver. I'll put it on the one hour. I've just been looking at, uh, just in the last, there's a couple of hours, there's been some selling. That's the reason why we've got our pullback here, but we should be broken through those resistance levels. Uh, we're at 15.57. It went up as high as 16.69, so... Um, it went up fairly high. We're still currently up 1.3% on the day. Let's have a look at platinum. Mm, heading lower. 833, just some consolidation. Let's have a look at gold. Where is gold currently at the minute? Ooh, there's a bit of sell-off on gold. Look at this, guys. $1,403 for gold. There's a sell-off here. We were at 14, uh, what was it, 14.11 earlier. There it is, 14.03. See if it's going to break that 1,400 mark. I just want to explain why the, uh, we're going to go back to the gold-silver ratio. Gold-silver ratio, 89.98. So fourteen hundred and three dollars when we started this live stream it was about fourteen hundred and eleven. Um, Robbie Nash says, "Line me off to bed." Uh, no problem. Cheers, thanks, Robbie. Cheers, eh? Take care. Have a great evening here. Uh, Walsh says, "Well, Robbie, it's almost two a.m. here now, um, so you've got to you you've got that going for you." <laughs> Uh, Clinton S. How was Clinton S. doing? You've been working on any more artworks? I need to check out your channel. Actually, I haven't been on there for a few do uh, for a few for a few days now. And Chef as well. How's Chef doing? And we got Krispy Kreme Mad White says platinum. There we go. Ah, oh, that's how, okay. So um, there's a sell-off in gold currently. It's dropped. Oh, it's down. 
almost eleven dollars. In fact, it's, it's still going. Ten eighty one, ten eighty seven, ten fifty five, ten sixty. Okay, well, it's definitely down ten dollars. That's for sure. Um, let's check silver again now. Okay, silver still holding its own there at fifteen fifty eight. Still in the green. One point two nine percent up. Oh, it's that little wick starting to disappear. Fourteen hundred and two. The low for the day, fourteen hundred and two dollars and seventy seven cents. Let's have a look, Bitcoin. Still that still that red candle. Once this calms down, it could be a, a nice short position and hopefully see if some further drops. Watch well, it that even dropped as low as nine four and it still couldn't get in the green. It tried up and then it got pulled back up to nine nine. Wow, well, it still ended up in the red. Hmm. All right, let's check this one out. This is Bitcoin dives under 10K, crypto market down 10%. This is data today. Most popular cryptocurrency Bitcoin dropped by almost $1,000 on Tuesday, breaking the USD 10,000 level and almost reaching 9,600, while the whole market capitulation uh, dropped, uh, capitalization dropped uh, by more than 10%. Other coins uh, from the top 10 market capitalization lost 7 to 17 percent of their value today ether is down 14 xrp is down seven the whole market uh, capitalization dropped by 10 percent to 258 billion however bitcoin dominance or the percentage of the total market cap uh, capitalization stayed at 66 percent among the top 100 coins only five tokens are in the green and there are they solve waves ref mxm x mxm are registering up to six percent gains the recent sell-off coincided with the Libra hearing before the Senate Banking Committee early today. Fear. <laughs> it's the fear meter. <laughs> the fear and green index. The multifactorial crypto market sentiment analysis. And <laughs> it's rated 34 at fear level. I'm going to keep an eye on gold. There we go. It's dropping. Gold's dropping. Fourteen hundred and one dollars as we speak. It's dropped down ten dollars since I started the stream. Uh, BDC has a very weak support at this level. Um, if it does not hold, it could test eight thousand. I know. I I agree. It's it's just not looking good. Then if you see that positive momentum like you'd have for the last two dumps, it sort of dropped down and then shot back up again. We just haven't seen that. It's just dropped down and some minor um, spike, but nothing major. Um, Aussie Alchemist, I need coffee. Skittles will last longer with the global with global warming. <laughs> Glenn Ness is, uh, he says he's doing well, still sick, but uh, feeling better. He's on antibiotics. Well, I'm glad you're on antibiotics there, Clinton. Hope you get well soon. So creation uh, will be coming soon. Fantastic. Right, so gold, 1,402. Definitely rent candle forming silver we're going to check silver again so we're at 1556 and that's probably we're seeing that adjustment mainly due to gold right now uh, we're going to check and see if there's some news that's caused that because it's dropped down ten dollars let's check gold news gold down on summer beat okay that was the u.s data i already did a um already did a clip on that already Platinum still going down. Eight thirty-seven for platinum. Uh, palladium, whoa! Palladium dropped down quite a bit there. Fifteen eighteen. Let's see Ethereum there one ninety-eight. Oof! I think I'm gonna have to make a plan here with this Ethereum. It's a good chance I can uh, I can get some more here. Okay, that's that level there that it's currently in at. This is October 18. It's basically back to October. It's back to November levels. 
cheapest. I even dropped down as far as 80. Let's check and see what that support level is like, or even if there is any support at that level. Okay, some, okay, there is some support at that level. Mm, I don't know, Ethereum looks a bit messy. Yeah, I think I'm going to make a plan with Ethereum relatively soon here. Uh, let's have a look. Okay, let's go back to silver. 1556, 1557. Yeah, silver needs to go up um, 50 cents per day for the next 10 days. Um, we can swap silver to gold then. <laughs> that, that would be some commitment if it had to go up 50 cents per day for the next 10 days. That would be something. Uh, we can swap silver to gold. Um, gold needs to drop ten dollars per day for the next ten days. Let's go back to gold. I'm gonna check that right now. Fourteen hundred and three. I'll well, check that out, guys. It's on that line. Bigfoot says, um, don't be gloom and doom. Remember, you still loved even even if you're broke. <laughs> I'll see Alchemist, uh, crypto backed by fear. <laughs> uh, what are you going to do, health babe? I presume you're probably out of BTC at the minute. Or are you shorting it? Right, let's have a look at the, where, where, where are we? Okay, let's, I'm going to go back to the gold chart quick. Okay, so there's the gold. Okay, gold to silver ratio is back up to 90. That's probably because silver's dropped some and gold has come back slightly. So that's pushed it back up to the 90 level. Um, I'm going to add, I'm going to add BTC as a comparison to gold. Right. Okay, so this is the gold. Let's go BTC. This is on the daily. Okay, the comparison here with gold and BTC. Wow. Okay, so gold just doesn't even feature. <laughs> That's gold down here, 6.19%. And then you've got uh, BTC up here, 171%. Wow. Right, gold, $1,402 an ounce. Okay, still holds, the silver still holding its own at 1556. Health Babe says, um, I have no BTC. I'm holding my cash and wait for opportunity. There you go. So Health Babe's waiting. Uh, very much like myself and probably Well Stalker as well. Uh, Clinton S, uh, since Bitcoin is strictly in a cloud, uh, now does anyone think there will be a company that will make something uh, tangible besides paper? And investors can hold and uh, that way they can corner all the markets well, I, I, I suppose gold and silver is really that market um i don't think there's anything is is gonna you know come in between you've got uh, platinum silver there's just so many metals that you can that that are tangible in that in in that sector um i doubt there will be what stocks is bad points of limey is too broke to feed his donkeys it will no longer love him. <laughs> you don't have to worry about that, my friend. Um, right, okay, let's get back here. Okay, that's silver on the hourly. We've got 12 minutes left. I'll probably end the stream in about 12 minutes, everyone. So just uh, just make a note. I think gold is more interesting at the minute. We'll see if it's going to break that $1,400 level. So it's at 1403 currently at the minute. 
So the giveaway says, yes, I'm out. Uh, no need to leverage BTC with this volatility. Barbara Carbone. Hi, Lemmy. I'm back. I had things to do now. It's great. It's great that you're back. Thanks. Thanks, Barbara. Uh, let me know in the chat what your metal is that you would pick. Um, so obviously you have four choices, uh, gold, platinum, silver, and palladium. What metal would you choose? Only talking hypothetically, of course. What what metal would you choose out of those four? A Wolf Talker says he is shorting Bitcoin. Will definitely be back in the long term. Um, I I definitely agree. Uh, Wolf Talker says aluminium. I gave you four medals, buddy. <laughs> Platinum, palladium, gold, and silver. Those are your four. I don't know where aluminium came into that. Let's have a look. We have, okay, what stock is aluminium? Bigfoot Silver says silver. Crispy Cream says platinum. Clinton S, I would choose silver. Aussie Alchemist to buy today. Absolutely. So it's a bit of a mix, really. Everyone seems, to, no one's choosing gold. Interest, interesting. Um, silver so mining cash position. I'm not buying anything besides numismatic gold coins. Wow, that's interesting, health babe. Are you getting on the numismatic wagon? It was a pretty cool um, live stream we did the other day with Blended. Unfortunately, um, obviously, I, I couldn't stay longer, but um, I really enjoyed that. It's interesting you're looking at numismatic gold coins. Um, I, uh, did Blended give you some ideas or some tips? Barbara's carbon says silver. Will Stork says silver and gold. Deep Stupid says fence, fence sitting gold if you forced me. <laughs> I'm not forcing you. Um, Will Stork says platinum as well. That's interesting. I would probably go this one here. That would be my one to, to hedge platinum. All right, platinum at $838 an ounce. Gold fourteen hundred and three, silver fifteen. Sorry, I was going to say fifteen hundred. Uh, fifteen dollars and fifty six cents. Palladium fifteen hundred and twenty three dollars. It looks like it's coming back there. Um, after its drop, it was what mid teens. Fourteen hundred and three. Let's check the gold silver ratio ninety. It's falling again. 90.004, so not much longer. BTC down to 9649, another candle, another red one. So we got 10 minutes left for this one. 9649. Healthbabe says, I'm still waiting for platinum price to come down. Healthbabe, have you seen this possible breakout that's that's got that might happen here? Um, I don't think we're going to see low platinum prices anytime soon, do you? <laughs> I mean, if, when we were down at this level here, I'd say, yeah, maybe. You know, 891, when it was at 823, when it was down here, I would, you know, I'd probably give you some benefit of the doubt. But we're up here, we're at 840. Um, I think you said 780 or 760 or something like that, I think uh, was where you wanted to be. Um, uh, to me, it seems unlikely, but, you know. I'll cross my fingers for you, shall I? I'm currently not in platinum, so I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. Uh, Ozzy Alchemist says, good news, silver giveaways. Uh, glad Bill J are doing better. Is Bill, sorry, is something wrong with Bill J? I know he hadn't been streaming for a while and he was away on holiday. Um, just let me know there. Yes, and I stay disciplined. There you go. That's another thing uh, I just want to touch on is discipline, guys. You know, when you're getting into crypto market stick with a price uh don't go oh well hang on a month just stay in if you make a decision stick to it so if you're selling bitcoin at uh let's say 10 grand and it gets to 10 and well it gets to let's say 10 grand and it starts to go below that let's say nine nine or something like that, and you're thinking oh i'll wait a little bit longer what tends to happen is you'll tend it tends to go down rather than up so just stick to your price if you if you're if you're shorting stick Stick to your uh, to your goals. That's what I would suggest. If you make a decision, stick uh, stick with it. Otherwise, it's only going to cost you money. 
I'm going to go on up. Uh, gold and silver is being held down by big money, hence the ratio. Uh, well, it's good. I've got to go with gold. There you go. That's silver giveaways. Graham Stacker said, Will Stalker, my wife and I collect all different kinds of stones. That sounds interesting. Yes, a nice day, disciplined. Uh, Bill is okay, Lime. A bunch of his family is sick, though. Oh, gosh. Okay. Well, hopefully they'll pull through that. There we go. Bitcoin dropping 9.6. Back below 9.6. 9.585. Nine five seven four. Nine five six seven. Um, let's have a look. Um, Graham, I left Myanmar and they had a huge jade market. So oh, I'm sure that must be fantastic. Graham Stacker, I bet, buddy, if you have uh, some extra, I'll buy some. <laughs> uh, right. So Bitcoin below nine six. Let's check and see how the rest are doing. Ethereum there, 197. Litecoin holding in at 98. Hmm. Let's check that gold silver ratio quick. Oh, gold's holding in there, 1404. Um, so it's pulling back, and that probably means silver's doing the same. So silver's moving up. So the balance is, yeah, 1558. So um, it's maintaining. Let's get back to Bitcoin here 9624. 9618. Might be banning cryptocurrencies. Wow, what is this about? India might be banning cryptocurrencies. It might be this might be complete nonsense but hang on let's take a look here this is published 10 minutes ago india might be banning cryptocurrencies according to elite government documents uh, leaked photos of an alleged bill appears uh, appear to show that india is looking to ban cryptocurrencies within its nation while the document hasn't been officially verified blockchain lawyer uh, Varun seti uh, put them out on his twitter for all of us to look at entitled the banning of cryptocurrency and regulation of its official digital currencies. The proposal not only looks to ban digital assets, but also detailed plans of, digi of a digital rupee put out by the Reserve Bank of India. Seti put the entire leak on the Scribd, uh, on the Scribd account. Uh, there, can, there we can see one part of the document that reads, no person shall mine, generate, hold, sell, or deal in issue transfer dispose of or use cryptocurrency in the territory of india wow that's that's big words india's battle with cryptocurrency the ban however only implies um to the use of cryptocurrencies as a form of value uh, those who do will face fines or possible imprisonment um, otherwise, anybody using technology or process underlining any cryptocurrency for the purpose of experimental research is free to do so. What does that mean? I can experiment in um, increasing my money. <laughs> I'm just doing some research. I just wanted to see if my if I could turn my 10k into 20k. Um, honest. The same applies for blockchain technology itself with the with the document refers to a distributed ledger technology which the document refers to as distributed ledger technology that's basically xrp hmm. the same applies to blockchain technology oh wow, okay um yeah so basically you can experiment um and, and do research with the currency uh, that you won't be applicable to that so you can always say that you're just uh, experimenting I'm sentimental for Bitcoin, says Barbara. Look, oh, babe, um, is that true? You would get a graded rooster. <laughs> hey, Donald. No ways. Donald in New Mexico is here. Hey, Donald, how you doing? India's a big hitter with physical gold and silver. That is very true. They the, Themselves, China and India um, are constantly just adding gold to their treasury. I found him a really cheap one. You better before I do. <laughs> Who's that, Brewster? 
the CEO of India's most trusted cryptocurrency exchange, Mazda X, um, there is, he claims that the bill looks like a rough draft uh, and it will be likely to be changed. Also, it's even, uh, if it's even real, the public opinion might be in invited first before anything passes. He ends the tweet with India wants crypto, reassuring everyone that the cryptocurrency ban is, isn't is necessarily what the public wants. Maybe I'm not going to go into too much of the detail, but you're welcome to check it out here. This is on, what's the site? Beincrypto.com. It's by Max Mueller. Right, let's check the latest. 15.58 for silver. BTC, 9.582. XRP, down to 29 cents. The candle right down. Ethereum one nine seven fifty down to thirty dollars. Jesus. Oh, we haven't got much longer now. Be interested to see how silver performs tomorrow, or later for this evening and when it starts off, and uh, from when I do tomorrow's broadcast it'll send to certainly be interesting uh likewise at platinum keeping an eye on that one It'll be interesting to see if it's going to go up more especially after the selling today i certainly would be great to see platinum break out and we're going to be following crypto as well right that's where we're going to end the stream everybody I want to thank you all for dropping in. I really appreciate it. Um, and again, just thanks for the uh, for the chat there as well. You guys um, having a good chat with everybody, obviously in regards to listening, what I'm putting out. Looking at charts is always great fun as far as I'm concerned. And it's always great to have you here. Um, so again, don't forget to hit the like button. And if you're just listening for the first time, hit the subscribe button as well. Um, I try to do these daily if I can. So, so far I am. But um, just a special thanks to everyone. We've got Barbara Carbone here. Um, we've got Krispy Kreme Mad White says good day. We've got Clinton S as well, Health Babe as well, Donald from New Mexico, Will Stalker, Graham Stacker. Um, we've got Bigfoot Silver Hide and Seeker as well. And I'll we'll just keep scrolling up. Silver Giveaways as well. Um, so he just put that note there in regards to Bill. He says, Bill is okay, but his mother in law passed while they were on vacation. Oh, that's terrible news. Uh, then Peggy was an accident, so she's fine, but the car was totaled. Jeepers. That's hard luck, that one. Clinton S. Yeah, that's right. Sorry, Clinton's put a little says Bitcoin um, always drops a lot before it goes back up again, right? That is right. I know it usually rebounds. That's that's precisely my thinking as well. It hasn't rebounded. Um, so I think we're going to be interested. We're probably going to be heading lower. Graham Stacker as well. Sorry, thank you. Aussie Alchemist was here earlier. Thanks a lot. Uh, when Health Babe said that she was buying pre-33 gold, sorry, I missed a couple of questions here. Thanks, Silver Giveaways. Uh, again, thanks for putting those messages there. Missed a few. And that's where we're leaving it. Thanks, fun conversations, Silver Limey. Thank you very much. That's not a problem at all, guys. Thanks very much for joining me. Uh, hopefully, I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Um, hopefully, we'll have some even better news. Hopefully, Silver will be up in the 60s. Uh, in the 15, 15, 60 level. I'm certainly looking forward to that. But um, I'll see you all uh, tomorrow. And